Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up any of my server setups on your Minecraft server. This guide's just going to go through exactly how you go from downloading the zip to getting your Minecraft server up and running. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the zip file. So depending on whether you bought it from Built by Bit or Polymart, there will be a download button here. Or on Polymart, this post and update button will be replaced with a download button for you. I'm going to download mine from Built by Bit. You just click the download now button here and you'll see a window pops up that says waiting for download. And then after a minute, you'll see in the corner of my screen, it pops up and starts downloading. So you'll now see that I have the Lifestyle setup downloaded into my downloads folder. So I'm now going to right click it and click extract all. You can use whatever extracting tool you want, but I'm going to just use the default Windows one. And then when you go into the folder, you'll see a folder called server files and this will be a zip folder. And then you might find some other things like the readme shortcut. Some setups have some legacy configs that you can use if you want. What we're going to really need is the server files zip. So coming back to my server panel, you see this one is running Pterodactyl. So you can see that by basically this kind of layout here. I'm going to go to the settings tab and here you can find my SFTP details. And we're going to use this to connect to our server and upload the zip. So I'm going to use FTP. So you'll see the host and username section here, which is the same as the server address and username. So I'm just going to copy these into this section up here. And the password is the same you use to access the panel, but I've already filled that in. So then I'm going to click quick connect. And I'm going to save my password and then click yes on that. And then you'll see it's loaded into our server perfectly fine. So we're now going to want to come back to this server file zip and you're basically just going to want to drag this straight into your server files. If you had any files in there, also delete them beforehand. You're then going to want to come back to your main files in your panel and you're just going to want to right click and click unarchive or extract depending on what the panel says. And we can then delete the server file zip that it's been extracted from. We're then going to want to go into the eula.txt file and we're going to want to set this to true to say that you accept the eula. And then we're also going to need a jar for this server to run on. So personally, I'm going to use paper just because it's very simple. And if you don't know what you're doing, you should probably use paper as well. However, if you're an advanced user, you can always download a fork of paper like Pufferfish or Purpa. So firstly, you're going to want to come to the resource versions page of the documentation. This will tell you what Minecraft version you need to use based on the resource that you're setting up. So currently, as I'm recording this video, 1.20.1 is the most used version for all setups. But as you can see, there are some changes depending on the setup. So you're going to want to come to this page and see which Minecraft version you're going to need to run. So I'm setting up the Lifestyle setup so you can see it's 1.20.1 and there's conveniently a direct download link here. If it's not a direct download and it's this download page, you're simply going to want to go to the page and then find the version here. It will most likely always be the latest one and just download the latest version here. But because I'm setting up Lifestyle, I'm going to do a direct download of Paper 1.20.1. So I'll middle click that and you'll see it starts downloading and I'm going to click Keep. We're also going to need to download some plugin dependencies because of licensing restrictions, some plugins you need to download yourself. So come to this standard host setup page on the docs as well. I'll link this down in the description and come down to the plugin dependencies section. And you're basically going to need to download all of the ones you need. So some of these plugins only work for specific versions. So we'll need to download a specific version for the resource we're setting up. So for tab, every single version works. So we just middle click that and download it in a moment. For citizens, we need to use 1.20.1. For crazy vouchers, we also need to use 1.20.1. For plugin hide, we can use any of these versions. And for better balls, also any version works. Just keep in mind that crazy vouchers isn't needed for easy hub and better balls is only for the lifesteal and one block setup. So if you're setting up something other than lifesteal, then make sure you pay attention to these. But I'm not gonna go through all of these tabs and make sure all the plugins download. So now we're back in our server panel, we can go to our files section and we're going to want to upload our paper jar file into the main directory. So if you just click upload, navigate to your downloads folder and find the paper jar, just upload this and it can sit here. And I'm actually going to rename mine to just paper.jar as it will really help out when we put the name of the jar to run. You're then going to want to go to the plugins folder and then upload all the plugins you just downloaded. So in my case, it is these five and then just click open and these will all upload. So now coming over to the startup tab in our panel, you'll see it says Minecraft version and server jar file. Usually on Pterodactyl, you can set Minecraft version to custom and then set the server jar to what we set it to. So in my case, it's paper.jar. You should then be able to come over to your console and start your server and it should start up perfectly fine. So while our server starts up, it's also worth mentioning the extra information page on the docs. This is like your go-to for information about the server you've just set up. So at the beginning, you have stuff you should change, like you can add your branding by going to this file and you can easily change your branding throughout the whole server. It also explains how you change the server list appearance, how to configure Votifier, Discord SRV, your store, and a whole lot more. So now that our server has started up, I'm just gonna copy our IP address and then I can just direct connect straight into the server. So now I've just joined the server and you can see everything here. 
Because I haven't changed my branding, you can see it's all set to the default. So that's how you can really easily set up your server setup on your panel. If you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord server linked down in the description. You can verify your purchase and then ask your question in the support forum where we can help you out. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.